Hey there, how's everybody doing today? All right, today I really wanna talk about you being the expert in standing in your authority. And I want you to ask yourself this question. What is going to get my client the best result? And I want you to really think about that. Like go grab a piece of paper and a pen or your phone or somewhere and write down what is going to get my client the best result? And I want you to think about this from a perspective of how they work with you and what solution you provide and what it is going to take in order for them to get the solution that they are seeking, okay? And the reason I say this, and I'm gonna work backwards here a little bit with you guys, is because what I want you to understand is that it's on you to define what is going to get them the best result, right? Like clients are always going to come to you and say, here's what I think I need, here's what I want, right? They're coming to you from a, pay, a place of a pain point, they're coming to you from a place of a want, they're coming to you from a place of what they are considering a need. And it's on you to say to them, okay, I understand your need and I understand the goal that you're trying to achieve and here is what it's going to take in order to get you the results that you are desiring. And when you do this, I want you to stand in your power and stand and maintain that level of confidence and do not bend on it, okay? Let me give you a couple examples. For example, if a client comes to me and they are trying to grow their business and they have all these big, you know, they've got a million ideas and they're trying to execute and their goal is to gain X, Y, Z number of clients and get them fully booked, but they don't have a clear picture and of what they're doing and they need new offers and their positioning and everything is all over the place, right? I know for a fact that I cannot get them to a place of clarity and a place of results with anything less than four months. And here's the other thing, but I wanna take that a step further. As I was going through this program last year, and it was a four month commitment, what I realized was that after the first initial eight weeks of that initial deep dive, when you really get into the execution piece versus more of the laying the foundation for the strategy, what I found was that meeting weekly with my clients was not enough time for them to actually execute, right? Like they weren't being, they didn't have enough time in between our sessions to execute on all of the things that we talked about and they really needed to be moved to every other week. And so I did that and I moved now after the initial eight weeks, the following eight sessions are every other week, which makes my one-to-one -one program a six month program. And somebody said to me the other day, you're gonna have a hard time getting people to commit to six months, that's a big chunk of time. And the answer is yes, but not if they're the right client and not if you can position and explain to them why it's set up that way, right? Like if I can very clearly articulate and say, here's what this looks like and here's why, and I can say to them, I'm doing this because here's what I've seen. Here's what I know to be true. In order to get you the best results, you need that time in between to execute. And so that's why I extended it out two months. It's, because, it's for your own benefit to make sure that you have the time to execute, to make sure you can come back to the table with the data that we need to continue to move forward and grow, right? Now, that's just one example. It could be something of that sort. It could be that you need a three-month commitment. Um, with the sub-brand that I launched, the Accelerated Business Alliance, it's a three-month commitment. Why? Because you cannot network and build relationships effectively and efficiently and anything less than that. It takes time for people to get to know you. Like you have to be able to commit to the process for at least three months. If you're not willing to commit to the process, then it's not a good fit, right? And that is where you want to be. You want to be able to say, here's what it is going to take for you to get the best results. And if a client is not willing to see the value in that and they are questioning it and they're questioning your expertise, they are not a good fit for you right now, okay? It's on you to position yourself accordingly. And you need to make sure that you're very clearly articulating to them why this is what it is, all right? And stand true to that. Now. Don't get me wrong, there's always room for customization. There's always an opportunity where you can look at a client and say, you know what, this is what I normally do, but you're coming to me with this and I think that we can customize this package to this result, right? There's always that room for customization, but the reality is, is that 
You don't want to be customizing everything, number one. Number two, you do not need to do what the client is saying, well, this is the, this is the only piece I want. This is the only thing I need. No, you need to be able to say, I'm sorry, I understand this, what you think you need. However, this is what I know you need, and this is what I know is going to get you the best result, okay? So here's your key takeaways. One, I want you to write that down and ask yourself that question. What is going to get my client the best result? What is the minimum commitment I need from them? What is it going to take in order for them to see the result that they are desiring? So number, that's what I want you to do, is I want you to really think about that and I want you to be honest with yourself, okay? Go back through all of your clients and look at the process and see the ones that have gotten the best results from you and figure out what those key components are. What were the key components that made that client get the best results, okay? That's number one. Number two is that you can remember there's always room for customization, but you don't want to be customizing everything. All right. And then number three, stand in your authority and stand firm. Be able to clearly articulate and explain to your client why you are requiring this commitment, this minimum number of months, whatever it is. You need to be able to clearly articulate that so that you can position yourself from a place of value. All right. That's what you need to understand is you've got to be able to create that value around why your client needs to give you that commitment. Okay. So I'm curious, jump into the Facebook group and I want to know what does it take for your client to get the best result? Share it with us. All right. I want to talk about it. All right. I'll talk to you soon.